friends, Delaney and Charlie here from Greenbrook Montessori. We um, were alumni. Um, so today we're gonna be showing you guys how to bake a cake. So Charlie, you wanna get started? Okay, so this is all you're going to need. You're going to need your cake mix, of course. Then you're gonna wanna use this to decorate the cake when we are done and it's cool when it comes out of the oven. We have a cup of water measured and a half a cup of um, oil and we have three eggs and some spray. spray. Now we have a bowl, a whisk, some scissors, and then you're gonna need these um, oven gloves when you take it out. Okay, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees to make sure your cake will um, bake. So then once you have that done, you're gonna take your little spray and you're gonna shake it up and you're just gonna spray it on whatever kind of little cake pan you're using. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna spray the outsides of the edges and then the bottom. And then once you're done with that, you can put that away. All right, Charlie, so what's our first step? You're gonna to wanna to take your cake mix and you're gonna to wanna to cut it open. Don't then you're formula. gonna pour your cake mix into your bowl. You get it all out. And then you're gonna wanna go throw that away right away so it's not in your work area. Take your water, pour it in. Now this is one cup of water measured out. I'm just gonna put that over here. A half cup of oil and three eggs. Once you're done with those, you can go ahead and mix it up. I'm gonna put these in the sink. You wanna mix it so there's um, not a lot of, so you can't see a lot of the dry stuff like this. Can you see all that? It's like brown on top. That's what you don't want. You want that all mixed in by the end. And then another place that, that white brown stuff will come in is if you take tap this off when you're first starting to mix all the white stuff will go with the water and it will clump up in there and you don't want that you want it off so then when you're done mixing you also want to get the wanna, edges of it you're going to want to because there's some on the edges you're going to tap it off like that there's some on the edges though, a little bit make sure it's tapped off then you're gonna put your hand under it, take it to the sink, put it down, wash your hands. <laughs> so then you might need one of these. It might come in handy for when you're pouring. If you need to stop it, you can just wipe the edge. So Charlie, you wanna go ahead and pour this in. We're making a bunt cake. You're gonna wanna pour it up about halfway. is also good for um, helping get the batter out. Want to scrape that out? And make sure you have a parent helping you when you do this part. Also, when you put it in the oven, it's a good idea to get a parent to help you. Um, Here, I'll hold it. I got Because an oven can get very hot and you can burn yourself. So you can try your best to get um, all the dough you can out of it, or not the dough, the little mix. Here, let me see this. I like to put it down, get it all off the sides first. Then you can get the most of it off of there. Sometimes it drips on the counter. You just gotta make sure that you clean up the counter when you're done so, you're, so mom and dad aren't mad that you baked in here. <laughs> and then, take the rest of that out of there. Try to leave as little left behind as you can. That's good enough.
Hope you have fun making yeah. a cake. How long do you bake it? Hmm? How long do you bake it? You bake it for, for 10 to 15 minutes. Mm. Bye, Bye, guys. Have fun.